I don't feel as if I need to be more than what I already am. And that's the secret sauce, man. Like that's the magic. I've been I've been thinking about it so much lately because I'm 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 in this I'm in the same I'm the happiest I've ever been. That's one thing our organization we've always said is that our job is to to help someone become the best version of themselves. And whether that means staying with us or that, that means going somewhere else, Absolutely. we just want people, the world doesn't need another happy employee. The world needs people that are waking up with their hair on fire because they're doing what they were born to do. And a lot of times that's that's meant people moving on to another thing and, and we, we we embrace that. And then another thing that Gary Vee always talks about is you know, the fact that like if you're making $100,000 now doing something you don't like, but you could go make $60,000 doing something you like, it all comes down to your happiness and fulfillment, right? Like it, it may make more sense for you to make way less money, but be happy in what you're doing on a daily basis. If you think about how much time we spend in our careers, it's like a third of your day, which ultimately ends up being a third of your life. Is it worth doing something that you don't like doing just for a little bit of extra money at the end of the month? That's something that you have to decide. And so I think it's figuring out what scenario that you can put your yourself in, what lifestyle you can put yourself in that's ultimately going to make you happy. It may take a lot of money to get that lifestyle or it may not. Um, but I think there's a lot of people out there that are chasing after a dollar amount that could be way happier slowing down a little bit and realizing that, hey, I don't, I don't really need that to be happy. I really like want to spend time with my family. And it's not just another successful person telling you that success isn't everything. You got to be happy. It's truly living that out, like living that out and making this contract with yourself so that you're only spending time on the things that bring you fulfillment and happiness and having a process in place to actually make that happen. Um, because a lot of times I think it can be so so uh, vague and just this this idea of like oh just be happy you know if you do what you love you'll never work a day in your life and just these things that people say and to me i've gotten so intrigued by this idea of just being happy <laughs> and it sounds crazy like this idea of being happy but it's true like within careers so many people get into a career because they were just good at it and they kind of got stuck into this mold that now 10 20 30 40 years later they've been stuck in all their life and sometimes success can be the greatest tar pit uh, of our happiness because mm -hmm. when we're successful in what we're doing it makes it even more difficult uh, so the yeah. fact that man you chose a path that you knew would ultimately create that happiness and that fulfillment is freaking awesome I think there are far too many people out there doing jobs that either they don't like or they feel like they've gotten into this position where I've been doing this so long or I've worked so hard to get to here and then they realize that they got what they wanted but didn't want what they got yeah. but that now it's too late or that now I've, I somehow can't change and that's one of the big messages that I want to get out to people is that it doesn't, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter your circumstances, life is too short to do something you hate.